Hello, boys. Gentlemen. Grumpy old gentlemen. I picked out 20 movies for you to look at right now. I'm doing a video. I picked out 20 movies. So out of these 20 movies, you got to pick one. So this is to see the other five grumpy old gentlemen have any one of these movies. The narrow down to one, right? That's what we're doing here. That's the whole purpose of this video. I'm not going to show you and talk about, not very long, mention the movies. So, which one of you is five? And anybody else for that matter, like Brian, for instance, if he's included in this and wants to do a video, if he has the movie, you know how it goes, right? So, let's talk about the movie. So, let's dwindle them down to one. I want to see which movies you guys all have. So I can pick out one that we can watch. You got that? Everybody understand that? All right. And I'm not naked. I got a t-shirt on. So you can't see what I got underneath. That's for James. Yeah, the guy with the puppets. All right, let's talk about this one, for instance. This one right here. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, 2008. A little boy meets a friend of his, or I shouldn't say a friend of his, he first meets them, meets them. He runs off and goes to play somewhere. He wants to find out who all those people are down there. So he goes and finds a little boy sitting outside of, inside a fence, starts talking to him. Barbed wire. What are you doing behind that fence? Anyway, very good story. There's one. All right, let's put this over here. Try not to make this long. Here's another one from 1995, right? I saw this at the show when it first came out. Liam Neeson and Jessica Lange, and is she ever beautiful in this one? Rob Roy. Yes. Do you have this one? Check and see. Let's go on farther. John Wick. Well, of course, the first one from 2015. Now, I definitely know that Inn has this one. So, anybody else? Tombstone. From 1993. Val Kilmer. I'll be your Hucklebuck. Or Huckleberry, should say Hucklebuck. That's another movie. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Bell Kilmer and Kurt Russell. There it is. Anybody got that one? You all should have that one. There's another one right here. Kill Crazy. Girl, girl Gun Crazy. 1950. Film Noir. Very good movie. All right. Peggy Cummins and John Ball? Dahl. D-A-L-L, -L, I guess. Yeah. John Dahl, yeah. There. There's one. Another one, I should say. Now, every, every, you know, you probably all got this one, I would think. You know, but who knows. 1944. Double Identity. Right? Barbara Stanwyck and Fred McMurray and Edward G. Robinson. He's always thinking in this movie, Edward G. Robinson. He's always got his thinking cap on. Glory, based on a true story, this really did happen. Harry's probably got this movie. Anybody else got it? Because we can dwindle it. Now remember, we got to dwindle it down to one that I want to pick. But you guys all have to have the movie. 1989, Glory. Matthew Broderick and Denzel Washington. Morgan Freeman. This is a very good movie. The Fight in Sullivan's, 1944. The movie that inspired Saving Private Ryan. About five brothers. 
But I'll go to war in the Second World War. I'll go on a battleship together. And they changed the way they did things later. Al Pacino, 1983. Scarface. We all have this one. Check and see. All right, next. Don't want to make the video too long. The Train. Burt Lancaster. The German, or Germans, are trying to steal all the paintings from Paris. They're putting them on the train and taking them out. And Burt Lancaster and some of his friends are going to try to stop the train. Very good movie. Lifeboat. Alfred Hitchcock, 1944, takes place on a boat, 98% of the movie, people on a boat, talking and chatting and stuff happens. Alfred Hitchcock, 1944, one, another one of those Alfred Hitchcock movies that takes, takes place in one Pacific place, area, something like rope, but anyway, this is on a boat. And Glorious Bastards, Quentin Tarantino, a what if movie, that's fun, it's a fun, it's great, it's a great movie. Sci-fi at its best, movie, the movie from 1951, Billy Gray, a little kid that was on Father Knows Best. Yeah, Hugh Marlowe, Patricia Neal, Michael Rennie, in the day the earth stood still. We come for a visit to tell you guys that you're messing up and you better stop doing that shit. The day the earth stood still. Another great movie. Silence of the Lambs. Best Picture from 1991, starring Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, and Scott Glenn. The Big Glombowski. This one's a riot. The Big Glombowski. Jeff Bridges and John Goodman. Julian Moore, Steve Bazumi, and John Tarotto. Another great sci-fi movie right here. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Kevin McCarthy. Dana Winter. Carolyn Jones. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. The Champ. What's this, 1932? Something like that. No, 1931, pardon me. I was off by a year. Yeah, this is Wallace Berry and Jackie Cooper in The Champ. Get out the Kleenex. You'll cry your eyes out. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. I've seen this at the show. James Colburn, Chris Christopherson, and Bob Dylan. They threw Bob Dylan in there just for the hell of it. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. What year was this? Oh, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my glasses. What's this? 1970 or something? Grand Torino. Clint at his best, being a grouchy old fart. Something like in. Grand Torino. All he wants to do is sit in his porch and drink beer and get drunk and tell everybody to piss off. Get off my property. Harold and Maude from 1971. 
Ruth Gordon and Bud Clark. An old lady and a young guy and they get along quite well together. Hey, that's it. I guess that was 20. So out of those 20 movies, let's dwindle it down. Make sure all of us, grumpy old gentlemen and whoever else wants to do it, like Brian or anybody else that I forget their names or right now, but uh, if you all want to join in, I guess as far as I understand, it's quite all right with everybody. You can mention the movie that we uh, finally pick out, and you guys can all make videos of it too. So that's the choices. You can think about what movies you all have, and we'll dwindle it down to the one that I want to watch and I want you to talk about. So that's it, people. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. And we'll probably be talking about this movie sometime around, I would think, probably by the time we get it all figured out. Uh, sometime in the middle of March, you know, 14, 13, whatever, whatever the day is, as far as I understand. So that this movie that we pick out will be coming to the Grumpy Old Gentleman channel sometime in the middle of March. Over and out, and keep watching those movies.